hey there how are you doing welcome to this video and this channel and in this video we are going to discuss various courses that you can do in uh, electrical engineering that is power option depending on the grade you got in your KCSE and which knowledge and skills you are going to gain when you are pursuing these courses where you can go for attachment and where you can go and seek employment after you are done with your course we are going to discuss ASAN course in electrical installation, craft certificate course in electrical and electronic engineering, that is power option, and diploma course in electrical and electronic engineering, that is power option. From our previous video, we already said there are three options of electrical engineering, that is either a diploma certificate or higher diploma, in electrical and electronic engineering that you can pursue in various TVET institutions. That is, there is electrical and electronic engineering power option, electrical and electronic engineering telecommunication option, and electrical and electronic engineering instrumentation option. But for the university, they classify it in four branches. That is, you can pursue a degree in electrical engineering, heavy current, that's a power option now in TVET, electrical and electronic engineering, light current, that is the electronics you can do telecommunication and you can also do instrumentation so the classification sometimes will depend with the level the institution or the country but in this particular video i want us to concentrate in power option the various courses are the power option especially for tvet institutes if you want to get more details about various branches of electrical engineering mechanical engineering uh, civil engineering i've made quite a number of videos you can check some of the videos in uh, the link shown here or in my video description here. Watch as many videos as you can so that you can be able to decide which is the best course for you. For the outside course, you join with your either the KCP grade that you scored or you can join with a knee or a D minus. We say the outside course takes two years, but some institutions, they usually shorten the course one year, especially if the runner admit students who have done their KCSE. But for institutions that only that admit a mixture of students who have done KCSE and KCP, they usually follow the syllabus, which is two years. I've also made a whole video on arts and course, but I only mention a few things. Uh, you can check the videos in my video description here. For the arts and course, you only gain one skill in electrical engineering. Some of the units in that course are mathematics, science, general studies, applied geometry. All those are support subjects, but now the key skill that you gain is electrical installation. Uh, you can see the unit number five is electrical installation trade theory. That is the theory part of it. And then six, we have electrical installation trade practice. That is the practical part of it. I've only analyzed the course in a whole video. You can check that video. Here you gain knowledge and skills to do electrical installation work, mostly in domestic scenarios. That is to install the writing, the power, uh, the cooker circuits, the water heater circuits, uh, alarm and core circuits. Mostly it is more of domestic in nature, although some of this work we know can also be done in industries. For the attachment, mostly the trainee will work with contractors. For example, if you get a contractor who is doing electrical installation work, either in homes, schools, hospitals, or other places, it will be a very good attachment for you. Now, the other course in uh, electrical engineering power option is certificate course in electrical and electronic engineering uh, power option. And to join directly from Form 4, you need to have scored a D print in your KCSC. And the unit that are in the first year of study, actually, this course takes two years, it cannot be shortened. The first year is called module one, there is a number of units. Second year is called module two, there is a number of units. Now, for the first year, you have entrepreneurship, education, information, communication, technology, uh, technical drawing. You have mathematics. You have applied uh, science. We have workshop technology, which is a mechanical unit. All these units are support units. They are also important units. Especially math is quite an important support unit. One, because electrical engineering, most of the concepts uh, in electrical engineering are mathematical in nature. And this unit in mathematics, they will build up if especially you intend to continue with the course in electrical engineering to the diploma higher diploma level and so on the basic units in mathematics in the initial years of study are usually very key because they build up now the core units in this area is 
electrical principles, which is a very important area. I hear there's a problem with my spelling. I thought I had corrected this, but I think I didn't do it in the right way. Let me correct this. This is electrical principles. This gives you the foundation of uh, electrical engineering. This is where you uh, learn about the key concept of electrical engineering. This is where you study things like magnetism, electromagnetism, uh, basic circuit analysis, principles, Ohm's law. Then there is electronics. Uh, the trainee also will do a unit in electronics. It's also a, a, a broad one. I notice by the way the key areas, they are located more time. Electronic is allocated 99 hours, electrical principles 88 hours. Then another key area the trainee uh, will gain skills in is electrical installation one. Uh, and then the solar installation systems. A direct installation one is now like the whole of the ARI. Here they will gain knowledge on domestic installations mostly. How to install things like uh, lighting, socket outlet or the power circuits. How to install things like uh, water heater circuit, cooker circuit, how to do installation for core and alarm systems, installation for security systems using various methods of wiring. At the solar technology or solar installation system, they will cover the various type of um, solar panels, solar system sizing, uh, batteries and various accessories at the solar. And then the practicals for electrical installation and solar system will be uh, a single unit though it's not indicated here but you can see electrical installation technology has a lot of uh, hours 170 hours some of these hours are meant for theory and others are meant for practice the electrical principles they will do more on the concept they that were already in the first year of study for principles of electrical engineering then there is a workshop organization management and then mathematics which will build up from what they did in high school and in module one, microelectronics, addition of the electronic unit in first year. Then there is electrical installation two. This is also another key area. Is a you can say this is a core area for them, together with now with the electronics. Here in a direct installation uh, two, they will now do more installation work, especially in machines. Then there is another important unit which is electrical maintenance and fault diagnosis. Here, you know, in electrical engineering, a lot of time will be required to diagnose problems or faults and fix them. So it's, that's, we can say that's a key area. Then they'll do electrical design, estimating and tethering, which is more of the installation work, how to design to estimate the materials required and to tether the work. It does no machine control. Here they'll do the theory of machine installation and control. For the first year of study, it is not indicated that you should go out for an industrial attachment but i would really really recommend that you go out for industrial attachment now it depends with the institution but as you can see the attachment is in indicated according to the syllabus after the end of the first year second year for the first year after you have done with your first year i would really recommend you to go out for an attachment with a contractor find a contractor somebody who is doing installation work in building homes schools hospitals out there in the in our towns and cities in those high-rise building or story building, go find a, a contractor who is doing installation work there. In the second year of study, they are doing more of machines. So uh, in your second year of study, I can really recommend you go out for an attachment in an industry or in a factory. You can also go out to the power generating plants, like hydro, geothermal, and so on. It will be a good attachment for you. But in your first year of study, I do not recommend you go out to the industry. Most of the work you find is machines and you have not done machines anyway. The attachments should take a total of 330 hours. The syllabus only stays for an at attachment, but personally I would go for both. Even if my institution do not require me to go out for two attachments, it is really, really recommended to go for attachment of the first, end of first year and end of second year. If you successfully pursue this course, that is craft certificate in electrical and electronic engineering, power option then you are eligible to join Diploma in Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Power Option, in your second year of study.